Well, today's grand opening of the new Durango Casino and Resort marks Station Casino's 14th property now. Hey, News Now anchor Kirsten Joyce takes a look back at Station Casino's history and other properties. The first station casino's property, Palace Station, opened in 1976 as the casino. It was then renamed the Bingo Palace, finally renamed again in 1984 when Frank Fertitta Jr. bought out his partner. Ten years later, he filed to make Palace Station a public company and retired. Control taken over by his son, who opened Boulder Station along Boulder Highway in 1994. The Texas opened in 1995 in North Las Vegas. Two years later, Sunset Station opened in Henderson, followed by Green Valley Ranch in 2000. Station casinos also bought several properties, including Santa Fe, the Fiesta, and Reserve, as well as Wildfire Casino. Red Rock Resort in downtown Summerlin opened in 2006 at a cost of $925 million. In 2009, Station Casinos filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and came out of it in 2011. A few years later, in 2016, Station Casinos bought the Palms Casino Resort for $313 million and put more than $600 million worth of renovations into it. But that venture did not pay out. The Palms was sold to the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians in 2021. Several properties were also closed during the pandemic, never reopened, including Texas Station, Fiesta Rancho, and Fiesta Henderson. Station casinos demolished the properties, selling the land to finance future projects.